What up, gang? It's your boy Zom, and I'm back with a banger, and I got my notes with me, so you know it's lit. When we're gonna go over homozygosity and heterozygosity, this will be a good foundation for new and upcoming breeders to really grasp the concept of an inbred line. And this is where I start when I teach all of my guys as well. So let's get straight into it. Get it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You heard me? Yeah, you know it. Turn up the leaf blower and the lawnmower. He smoked sour. Should've been a hippie. Should've been a shower. Bread with no dread. Black cock. Oh, yeah. Another thing, don't forget to join the Discord. Understanding heterozygosity and homozygosity is super important because it's the foundation of understanding the beginnings of breeding, right? Um, just the, 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 the understanding and grasping the concept of, of the inbred line. Um, and, and, and it all starts with uh, uh, homozygosity and heterozygosity. Homozygosity refers to a condition where an individual has two copies of the exact same allele for a particular gene. An allele is, is basically... Um, different forms of variants of a particular gene. It's like different versions of that particular gene. Um, in genes, you can think of like segments of DNA that contain instructions, right, um, for the production of specific proteins. Uh, now, those proteins, in turn, influence various traits or characteristics for that particular organism. If both copies of that particular gene are identical, that's homozygosity. Um, for example, a person with two copies of the allele for blue eyes, homozygosity. On the other hand, heterozygosity describes a situation where an individual has two totally different alleles for a particular gene. Uh, so like uh, two copies of the gene differ from each other. Um, so blue eyes, you got the copy for blue eyes, but you also got the copy for brown eyes, heterozygosity. All right. So um, heterozygosity actually introduces genetic diversity, and it can be a little confusing when we think in terms of recessive traits in the inbred line, right? Because we know that's really where we open up the gene pool, right? But in, in the case of a, a polyhybrid or outcross, in the initial beginning, that, that initial outcross, uh, we're, we're creating that situation, right? We're, 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 we're connecting um, into the ancestry and the history of the actual pool, right? So uh, we just need to do what we need to do and start the inbred line in order to access that ancestry or that history, right? So heterozygosity introduces genetic diversity. Having different alleles allows for a wider range of possible trait expressions. And in some cases, um, hetero heterozygosity is, is actually, can, you, you can receive benefits from, from, from an outcross, right? Um, we know one in particular, we talked about in the last video, hybrid vigor. Hybrid vigor is the case of only of heterosis or heterozygosity where uh, the offspring may, uh, in, in some cases, uh, exhibit traits more dominant or, 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 or superior than both parents. So, um, yeah, that, 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 you know, that's, that's one um, example in particular where heterozygosity could benefit us. Um, heterozygosity is, uh, you know, F1s are also the result of heterozygosity, right? We understand that, um, a pollen chucker or somebody who really doesn't understand um, how to create an inbred line can only go as far as to breed within hetero heterosis, right? They only know how to do the basic father times mother, and the result is F1 or a heterozygous or a zygote, right? A heterozygote. Uh, that's not necessarily breeding or, or, or an inbred line. That's more so um, matchmaking. You know, we, we can call that matchmaking. We won't we won't call that breeding, though. In summary, to wrap it up, homozygosity results in a more consistent expression of traits or disease sensibility, while heterozygosity introduces genetic diversity and may provide certain advantages in specific circumstances like hybrid vigor. All right. So I hope that helps you understand the differences. It'll be a good basis for our breeding um, series and um, getting some of you uh, newer uh, breeders a good foundation to get you pointed in the right direction so keep rocking with me man we're going to drop a video at least once a day i'm going to try my best you know i am recording producing and editing all my own stuff so um you know we'll, we'll, we'll do our best to get the information out to you i know it's important um to make sure that the community and the industry gets good reliable information you know especially when it comes to um selective breeding or 
natural selection. So um, thank you for rocking with me, man. Love y'all. Peace. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, man. And make sure you follow the gang. Join the Discord and um, tap in with us anytime, man. You can hit us on Instagram. Hit me in the DM. I'm always available to answer questions. Thank you. Much love. We out. Bow. The money ain't stopping, so I ain't need it. So I ain't need Hot boy got a feed, boy got a feed. Got drank by the lead, got drank by the lead. In the grill, I'ma lead. The money ain't stopping, so I ain't need it. So I ain't need. Hot boy.